I'm mad Shit. that people. I'm mad that people aren't more mad at Usher. Jaguar Wright is back in the news, and this time around, she has her eyes set on Usher. She claims that Usher was involved in giving Justin Bieber to Diddy when he was still starting his career. Because of this, Justin had to go through all the trauma that he did. And it's possible that if Usher hadn't given him out, Diddy would have never been able to get his hands on him. This story is a crazy one that makes you question just how much you should trust those who claim to have your best interests at heart. In Justin's case, this was Usher. So without wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. Once again, Usher is being put on blast online, and this time, it's definitely not for good reasons. In a recent interview, Jaguar Wright went into detail about how Usher should never be trusted and should practically be tried alongside Diddy. Even though he didn't commit as many crimes as Diddy has been accused of committing, he allegedly committed one of the worst ones anybody can possibly commit. And that's dropping a child directly into the hands of a dangerous man, knowing fully well that they're going to get hurt. You see, Usher and Justin have a lot in common. They both started in the industry at a very a young age and had people look out for them. People that led them straight into the hands of Diddy. For Usher, this person was Brian Reed. And for Justin, it was Usher. Justin was raised by his mom, Patty Millette, who had him when she was just a teenager. Both she and Justin were struggling financially and in an attempt to help them get by, Justin started performing at local talent shows. During this time, Patty would record him whenever he was performing and practicing and upload videos of him online. This was how Justin got discovered by Scooter Braun. Scooter reached out to Patty and asked if he could take Justin under his wing because a talent like Justin couldn't be ignored. Initially, Patty was hesitant. I mean, who wouldn't be? She was asked to let her young son move away with some strange guy just because he said he'd make him a star. Even though it might sound like a dream come true, it's actually what nightmares are made of. After much needed persuasion from her church elders and close friends, Patty finally decided to let Justin go. At the age of 13, Justin flew to Atlanta with Scooter to record demo tapes. And just a week later, he was standing in the presence of Usher performing for him. And that was how it all began. It didn't take long after this for Justin to start making waves and everybody wanted a piece of the new newest talent on the entertainment scene, including Diddy. But that was easier said than done. Justin's management was very strict about who they let come close to Justin, and Diddy wasn't on their list. No matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't get together with Justin. But according to Jaguar, all of that changed after Usher took over the management and guardianship of Justin. Although he didn't send Justin to Diddy's infamous flavor camp like Brian did him, he granted Diddy temporary guardianship of Justin for 48 hours. And it's hard for Usher to deny that he didn't know what Diddy was going to do to Justin because the situation had already played out before. Back when Bryant sent Usher to live with Diddy for one year when he was a teenager, Diddy would quote unquote toughen Usher up. And based on the rumors, a lot of crazy things happened to Usher back then. For an entire year, he was left at the mercy of Diddy. And allegedly, Diddy did things to him that no one should ever do to anyone, especially not a child. At one point in time, Usher even ended up in the hospital fighting for his life. By giving Diddy those 48 hours with Justin, Usher had to have known what was coming his way. So why do it? Why would Usher do something like this to Justin knowing that he was giving him to one of the most dangerous men in the entertainment industry? Well, the only thing that makes sense here is that Diddy had something on Usher. You don't keep someone under your wing for as long as Diddy kept Usher and not have a thing or two you can use against them should the need arise. This may have been the case with Usher. He knew Diddy had dirt on him and when he was presented with the option to choose himself or Justin, he picked himself and threw Justin to the wolves. And his eventually ended up repeating itself with Justin. Diddy's 48 hours of guardianship over Justin happened in 2009, and Justin even made a documentary about it on YouTube. There's a lot that went down during this time, but I'll focus on the most disturbing facts. Like when Diddy was asked what he and Justin planned on doing, and he said that they couldn't disclose what they wanted to do, but it was definitely a 15-year-old's dream. But this video isn't the only disturbing footage of Diddy and Justin that has been caught on camera. A year after this happened, Diddy was filmed pulling up into the studio where Justin recorded and grilling him. He talked about how they didn't hang out anymore and how Justin stopped calling him. Why would a man in his 40s be so pressed about not hanging out with a teenage boy anymore? A boy who he had no family relation or business ties with. From the video, it was clear that Justin was scared. He kept mixing his words up together, couldn't keep eye contact with Diddy, and looked super nervous. It was obvious that he didn't want to be around Diddy, but Diddy didn't care. For years after this, Justin was trapped in Diddy's clutches and was introduced to a lot of crazy things. And allegedly, Diddy wasn't the only person who used Justin. He supposedly passed Justin around to his friends too. And sadly, Justin probably felt like he had no one he could turn to for help because the one person he trusted to have his back was the person who threw him into this hot mess in the first place. Rumor has it that Diddy was the one who made Justin have a substance addiction problem in the first place because he kept taking them to escape the reality that was his life. 
It's not clear how Justin was able to finally get out of the clutches of Diddy, but many people believe that his age had something to do with it. You see, people like Diddy love for their victims to be a certain age, and when Justin outgrew that age, he might have just let him go. Justin has yet to speak on what really happened between him, Diddy, and Usher, but in interviews he's done in the past, he's hinted at how traumatic whatever happened was. Like the 2020 interview in which he talked about how he just wants to protect Billie Eilish, because that was something he wished he had when he was just starting in the industry too. But the people around him didn't have his best interest in mind, like they made him believe. With Diddy's case getting hotter with each passing day, your guess is as good as mine if Justin is ever going to say anything. If he does say something, it just might be the final blow needed to put Diddy away for good. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Justin is ever going to tell the story of his experience with Diddy or not? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.